Water treatment and pollution. Sorry about that phone call. It was my wife phoning me. Where was I? Ah, yes. Conveyance is needed to allow humans to use the water after collecting it. Can't use it quite yet, mister, unless you want diarrhea. We need to treat the water fast. Ah, yes. Great point, Sam. I promise I knew that. The importance of water treatment should not be undermined. It helps kill disease-causing microorganisms and help remove chemical impurities, soil particles, and that bad smell and taste. How is it done here? Simple. We boil it. Although it can only be used for small amounts, we only do it for what we need. Well, in town, it needs to be done on a much larger scale. It is a longer process, but can do large quantities. Look at this photo to see all the different parts. Wow, that involves a lot. How many steps does it take? Ah, well, I will walk you through them briefly. First, we have to collect the water from the source. It goes through a series of pipes with decreasing size of sieves. This helps collect different sizes of particles and impurities. Mm -hmm. Stage two involves softening the water. It goes into a mixing chamber with chemicals such as soda ash and alum, each having a different reason. What else? Stage three is coagulation and sedimentation. The softened water moves to a large circular tank to allow solid particles to settle down at the bottom. The tank is a resting point for the water to allow fresh air in and kill microorganisms such as the Bilharzia worms. Uh -huh. Almost there. Stage four is filtration. Filtration again? Yes, Sam. This is to ensure that all the particles are out. The tanks have layers of differing sizes of gravel and fine sand on top. The water slowly seeps through the different layers but when it leaves, it is clean. And next is stage five then? Yes, you are paying attention. A small amount of chlorine is added to fully kill the microorganisms in the water. The amount needed depends on the volume of water treating. And finally, the last stage is to store the water in a large tank before using it. It needs to be a sterile and covered tank to ensure the water is kept clean. It is then distributed by pumps and pipes, as we have discussed. And that's it. Wow, this is amazing. A lot more steps than just lighting a fire. I think Kiwasco is the company in town that deals with that. Ah, duly noted. I will contact them to see their process here. Do you know the ways farming pollutes the water? Yes. I try my best to avoid it, such as the use of inorganic fertilizers and pesticides. Ah. Glad to hear. Poor cultivation practices can cause pollution too, as soil erosion is more frequent. Uh, what are some other methods I can use to make sure I am not a part of the problem? Well, soil conservation is a major one, and you need to properly fence water sources to prevent pollution. Using non-chemical alternatives, and even simply planting grass along riverbanks. Uh. Polluted water would be terrible for us here. On the farm, we use clean water for domestic uses, also cleaning livestock buildings, helping in diluting chemicals and irrigating our crops. Oh, I would like to see how your irrigation's done. Do you have time to show me? For a Fanta, I have time for anything. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, Sam. I'm gonna get a stony though. Let's go.